this is me. I am Yoli O, uh, 15th generation of uh, Wudang Shuenwu Pai. Shuenwu Pai is a uh, Wudang Taoist uh, Kung Fu Pai and it has gone through several transformations since I became a member of the Pai in 2000. Before 2000 I studied for uh, two years with uh, Wang Guangde before he died of uh, cancer. He is one of my big heroes and he's not very popular in the Shuenwu Pai but he taught me a lot about uh, Nadan alchemy, parts that are not used in the Shuen Wu Pai. My first experience with Wudang uh, practices and Taoism was uh, through Master Liu. Master Liu I met a long time ago when I was like 25, 26. And uh, I followed him for a long time. I studied with him in his house. And uh, he, before he left me as a teacher, he said to mature in your stuff, you have to go to Wudang. So in 1999 I finally left for uh, Wudang and I spent about uh, six months a year in the uh, Wudang area uh, talking with uh, elder monks uh, uh, first with the benefit of the doubt that I had because I would not be part of the Communist Party or anything else. I have a lot of uh, intellectual luggage. I have a PhD in comparative uh, philosophy, no, comparative uh, medicine. And uh, in part of that is a lot of anthropology and history. And I use that in my classes. So my classes and my retreats, uh, I explain a lot about backgrounds. And as a result of that, I also have a quite unique view on how the physiology of practice has to be performed, which is uh, different than what most people do. Most people, they do a form of wushu when they practice Tai Chi Chuan, or they do a form of westernized, uh, spiritualized uh, training. Both of these aspects are not uh, content in uh, Wudang Taoist uh, training. And the irony is that teachers in general in Wudang, they don't teach a lot about these things. So what I share with people is my experience and what I learned and the progressions that I made as a result of what I learned. And uh, we do this here in Beira, in the retreat, in a beautiful place with uh, Neolithic sites, with uh, Menir, uh, with uh, ancient uh, pre-Roman villages, and here, Mavao uh, Castle, which uh, most of the time stays in the clouds. Studio here. And, uh, well, we practice on most of these places. This has, happens to be just an excursion that we had on our free moment. We spend a lot of time discussing also what we do. So uh, even though in the morning and the afternoon we are spending time practicing, during our uh, retreat in the early evening, we spend time talking the uh, theory and talking uh, philosophy and talking all kinds of other things that are relevant for this, but also on how to implement all these kinds of things that we learn in our daily life. The courses the retreats also help you to prepare for uh, maybe an eventual course to become an instructor. And I look forward to see you in the workshop, in the retreat, and uh, make you my friends.